describe and discuss lead chemistry, including examples and uses of organolead compounds and reactions. Lead is a chemical that's been known about for many thousands of years, mainly in the form of galena. Historically, it has non-chemical uses in pipes, cutlery dishes. More recently, there's been a use with uh, bullets and lead shot, which interestingly is now being phased out for alternatives such as copper and bismuth, although there needs to be a balance found between safety for the environment and cost for shot. Also, lead poisoning is a very well-known phenomenon, although utilising it in any meaningful way is frowned upon or downright illegal. More interestingly, for myself at least, are the uses of lead as a pigment. An example of this is lead chromate, which has a wonderful bright yellow colour, which was historically used in many paintings before it was phased out due to the uh, toxicity of lead and chromate. It's notable because it is extremely UV and weather resistant, which makes it absolutely perfect for what it's used for today in road markings. Another example of lead chemistry is lead white, which uh, famously Georgian women put on their face to make themselves look ghastly white. It was uh, f notable for being opaque, because titanium white, which is what's mainly used now, about uh, three quarters of all pigments, about three quarters of all pigments industrially contain titanium white. Unfortunately, it was only mass produced in 1916, so before titanium white was a thing, lead white was your go-to incredibly opaque white pigment, which is a very difficult thing to find outside of titanium white. Also, from personal opinion, it looks absolutely wonderful of a pigment. It's at this point I would put up a picture of lead chromate being used uh, in an instance of road marking with yellow, like double yellow lines, or the use of lead white as face paint on Georgian and Victorian women. But unfortunately, I've been having a few issues with images on my computers, and so I cannot actually get any on this slide. So I will link down in the description of this video to sources showing lead white and lead chromate in use, as well as the use of other lead pigments such as red lead, uh, which is lead tetraoxide, or Naples yellow, which is lead and antimony used in another sort of reddish, earthy yellow. Slightly less interesting, but still regarding lead chemistry, uh, lead acid batteries, which are the first form of rechargeable battery in the world, and in fact, every battery in cars and motorcycles nowadays is made of a lead-acid battery. It's because of this extreme wide use that they are one of the most recyclable batteries uh, we've come up with so far. Mainly recyclable out of necessity of the fact that we don't want lead getting into the environment. Lead is also used as a um, shielding agent in many instances where radiation is present, such as nuclear reactors or, or medical facilities. Uh, it can also be mixed in with glass to form lead crystal, which is very good at stopping radiation and also being transparent glass. Now we move on to organo-lead compounds, which is just a compound which has a carbon-lead bond in it. Preparation of organo-lead compounds is relatively simple. You simply mix a Grignard reagent with lead chloride. Theoretically, you should need to use lead tetrachloride to form your tetraalkyl lead compound, but due to the fact that lead chloride is lead tetrachloride is incredibly unstable, it would be unviable of a method for making these organo-lead compounds. Fortunately, lead dichloride can still be used due to the fact that due to this middling process where a dimer is formed between two previously reacted dialkyl lead compounds, which then expel lead to form your tetraalkyl lead compound in this overall reaction here. There are a few issues with this, uh, mainly the scale. While Grignard reagents are very good on a small scale, if you want to do this on a very, very large industrial scale, which was needed later due to the 
popularity of one certain organolid compound, you need to use different methods. You need to use different methods of making organolid compounds, such as reacting alkyl halides with sodium lead alloy, or electrolysis using a lead anode. As stated, waste was a, a very difficult issue to overcome. Even in this Grignard reaction, you can see that we have lead left over, which calls into question the efficiency of the reaction. An example of an organo-lead compound is tetraethyl lead, which was used as an anti-knocking agent in petrol. It was incredibly well researched up until the point where we started using catalytic converters. It was found to clog and decrease the efficiency of the platinum-palladium catalyst. In addition to this, more research was made into the poisoning effects of lead, so lead emissions had to be reduced due to government restrictions on atmospheric pollution. Unfortunately, it's still used a lot in developing countries, third world countries, where there are no such regulations. I would go a little into the chemistry of the making of tetraethyl lead, but this is what the reaction scheme looks like to manufacture it on an industrial scale, and I think we all have better things to do with our time. A final side note on organolead compounds are organolead perovskites, which are organolead compounds with perovskite structure. The most famous one of the most famous example of these is methyl ammonium lead halide. They show potential as solar cells with efficiencies of up to 16.7%, but the most recent number being more around the area of 25.5%. While this might not sound a lot to the untrained ear, amorphous silicon solar cells have efficiencies of around 20%, so these are as efficient. Interestingly enough, you can also use microwave radiation on a solution of methyl ammonium lead halide and form a single crystal this, using this method. A downside is that the environmental issues of using these compounds is not well studied, and so it could fall down the same issue that cadmium tellurium solar cells faced, in that they are just too toxic to be used on an industrial scale. Thank you for watching my discussion on lead chemistry and organo-lead uses and examples. I've been Thomas Romain.